In today's video, we're going for an Arizona day hike past some giant cacti into a canyon to find an elusive desert waterfall. I'm glad I found a nice trail to get to the trail so that I didn't have to do a lot of annoying out of the way road walking. All those many peaks of Mount Lemon rising behind me. You can just see the beginning of Bear Canyon peeking out there and that's where we're headed. Ooh, there's still some water here in the desert. That boded well for me on the way to the falls. I was just so freaking pleased with how many wildflowers there were. We were clearly still in the throes of spring here in the desert. You really understand why they call it a cactus forest when you're walking through scenery like this. I mean, come on, just look at all those yellow flowers popping. Even the cacti wanted to get in on those spring vibes. And as we head into the canyon, you can see that it gets a little bit greener from all that extra water flowing through. Yep, starting to get a little hot, a little less spring-like here. The water is just a little bit of a trickle. And once again, we come to the many stream crossings on this hike, which are obviously no difficulty at this time with the low water, but in the earlier spring or right after raining, it could get a little tricky navigating your way over all of those crossings. is just back and forth and back and forth across that water. Luckily, there are a few extra trees and other plants here to give you some shade as you make your way through the canyon, but otherwise it is very exposed and it is very hot. You should be starting early.
I bet this hike would be so cool if the water was really flowing as you're walking alongside the stream. The views really start to come once you start making your way up the side of the canyon. There's our view out towards Tucson out the back of Bear Canyon. The incline of the trail here as we keep making our way along the canyon wall towards the back of the canyon is the toughest of the whole hike and it isn't even that bad. You should have no problem. And there are the pools that make up Seven Falls over there on the left. I was so happy that there's still a little bit of water flowing over those seven falls to make it so scenic. A little daring scramble is needed for those who want to get up and close to the falls. Thank you. 
and welcome back. Boy, we sure were lucky there was still some water left to see at those waterfalls. That was Bear Canyon and Seven Falls, located near Tucson, Arizona in the Sabino Canyon Recreation Area. The trail through the canyon was relatively flat with only 950 feet of elevation gain across the whole canyon. And we followed the out and back Bear Canyon Trail deep into the canyon to the waterfall for around eight and a half miles total. Now, if you've already been inspired to go tackle this trail yourself first, definitely go down and hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And then while you're down there, check out the custom all trails map that I've created with pictures and landmarks that I've linked in the description down below. Now, this is a very easy difficulty designation for me because it was a very flat trail with barely any elevation gain that was stretched over such a long distance. And there's the key there, a very long distance. This is off the beaten path simply because of how long this trail is, even though on the whole, it was actually quite easy. Now, would I recommend Seven Falls? Does it live up to the height? Is it the most popular trail in Tucson for a reason? I'd say so. I especially would argue that it is even better to view earlier in the spring when there's even more water running. That makes it such a much more unique experience and one definitely worth checking out. But even besides that, at the same time that I went, it is very cool getting in the canyon and seeing the desert up close and personal. But hey, that's just my opinion. Now go get hiking. Thank you.